rapidly falling out of favor. Less than 24 hours after pulling off an election night upset, Greg Landsman tried to define what his victory over incumbent Congressman Steve Shabbat means. I think it was a repudiation of chaos and extremism. Landsman says voters who cast a ballot for him supported a candidate intent on understanding the needs of Ohio's first congressional district, which includes Warren County and the city of Cincinnati. I think it's really important to go to D.C., vote, vote for the folks here. Uh, don't take corporate back money and get involved in any of that nonsense, uh, but then come home and do the work on the ground with folks in the city and the suburbs and Warren so that, you know, people get to know you and they're like, oh, this is somebody who gets things done for us. Landsman outlined three early priorities. They include turning talk of a Brent Spence companion bridge into reality, making sure communities have the money needed to support police officers and firefighters, and restoring the child tax credit. My hope is that there's going to be bipartisan support to bring it back because it was so helpful to so many of our families. And so those are three big priorities that I, I, I'm going to make sure everybody knows and start to build the coalitions around it. Aside from talk about priorities and policies, Landsman told me today he's grateful so many voters sided with him and that he got to celebrate an election night win with his family. My son and I are pretty emotional. I'm just very grateful and I, you know, being, you know, there last night with my wife and kids was, you know, something I'll never forget. Now, Landsman carried the vote here in Hamilton County, but Steve Shabbat won in Warren County, something that is not lost on the fifth year Cincinnati Councilman. To improve his standing up north, Landsman says he intends to spend time meeting more people in cities like Lebanon and finding out what they'd like to see him get done when he goes to D.C. Reporting live downtown, Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5. Now, Todd, when Greg Landsman leads for Washington, do you know who will replace him on our city council? Well, not yet, uh, Ashley. I talked to Landsman about that earlier today. His fellow Democrats on council will ultimately re uh, choose his replacement. Uh, Greg Landsman hopes that conversations about who will fulfill his term, which runs through 2023, will be transparent so the public can follow the process. Ashley. Todd Dykes, live for us downtown. Thanks so much, Todd. Well, Ohio's two U.S. Senate seats will